Hi, welcome to Informatica. My name is Sarat Naik. I'm a cloud solutions specialist at Informatica. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to upgrade CDA PC domain. We'll, we'll cover CDA PC upgrade phases, the prerequisites, and then we'll go to the demo. CDA PC upgrade phases. So there are mainly two components in CDA PC that gets upgraded during major upgrades. One is the domain management app, that's the DMA on secure agent, and the other one is the CDA PC domain itself. So there are two phases. In the phase one, where the DMA upgrade happens, in this phased upgrade, DMA gets upgraded to the latest version seamlessly on the day of the major release upgrade. And there is a zero downtime upgrade like the data integration service on the secure agent. And the user doesn't have to do anything as part of this DMA upgrade. But in phase two, which is the CDA PC domain upgrade, so in this phase, CDA PC domain gets upgraded to the latest version. And this includes upgrades to all the domain components like admin console, domain, integration service, and the repository service. As part of this upgrade, the user or the administrator will have an option to directly upgrade the domain just by doing a single click or even they can schedule the upgrade within 90 days period from the date of the major upgrade. So they can basically select any future date or any time, but it has to be done within the 90 days period from the day of the major release update. And there are some prerequisites to this upgrade, like you have to make sure that we are going to take the backup of the existing ODBC INI and the ODBC INI ST files from the below folder. This just to be on separate side, you can take the backup. And the domain needs to be up and running during the upgrade. And we have to make sure that all the nodes in the domain should be up and running. And there should not be any jobs scheduled to run or if there are any running jobs, we have to make sure that all the jobs are stopped. And then we have to make sure there are no custom scripts to manage start or stop the domain. If there are any, then we have to turn them off. So now we'll go to the demo. Okay, now you need to log into the IACS portal and then you have to select this uh, icon, Cloud Data Integration for Power Center. Once you select it, then it will take you to this page where you can either see what are different domains you have. You can click on this available domain or you can click here in the explore. Once you click this explore, you will have all the options here, right? Domains and needs update. You can put all the domains. If you put need or needs update, it will show you that. Sometimes here, once you first time when you open it, it will give you a notification kind of thing, you know. Okay, you have 20 days, 30 days remaining or maybe or that some some information about this uh, upgrade you can see that and once you come to this page then you can just click on this particular domain you want to update here it shows that update available and you it says the date update by this date july 6 2022 8 pm edd this is a mandatory update and you see this kind of information here then you click on this domain here you see it gives us options, view update plan, right? You click on this view update plan, then it takes here. So here you see, so it gives the update to version. What is the new version? It is available 2024-04. Then you have the option to see either you can click on this update domain and it will go ahead with the uh, update or you will have the option here to schedule the uh, update. So if you schedule this update, you can Click on this one, you can select the time zone, let's say you uh, select Eastern time and to put a date here, let's say today is 18th, let's say you put some future date, you can put some future date and here you can put some time also. So you just put uh, you know, on this and then put the schedule. So now this, this schedule is done, so if you close it, now it comes back you will refresh it, it will show you here, update schedule for this date, 
24, 5.30 p.m. EDT. So you, you can schedule this update in this way. And if you close it here, again you come here, you refresh it, it will tell you here, update schedule to be scheduled on this date. And if you want to uh, you know, change the schedule, you can again go back here, go to this uh, view update plan, then you go to the schedule, you want to give, let's say, today's date, sometime you want to do, you can even give the date, let's say today 5.30, you can schedule this date, it will again change it. And once the, when the update starts, you will see all the status here, like, you know, prepare for update, begin update, updating, clean up, finalize, the final status comes here, whether it is success or failure, then here, if it comes here, then it will, it will all be updated, like you have the admin console, the other other services we have right like the, you have the repository service cdipc repository service cdipc integration service uh, so it will give you the status here pre-update status and the restart status so whether post upgrade whether these services were restarted or not it will give you these options so you can see under the services all these uh, status i will show you post object and if you click on this nodes it will give you the status of the node update what happened there okay so Let's wait for the update to happen, then I will I will show the screen how it goes. Now you see the domain upgrade is complete. Now if you come to this explore uh, page, you see here it's showing the issue latest version. The nodes, the services are up and running. Now you click on this domain. You come here, then go to the view domain update. Here you see under node, you see the, all the status is showing is green now. Begin update, updating, clean up, finally the final status is showing as uh, in green, as actually complete. Here you see the update to version 2024, the completed successfully 100%. Now if you click on services, here it will show you that okay, so this admin console, CDIPC integration service, CDIPC repository service, all at the pre-update status was available and now the restart, after doing the restart, all showing the tick mark. So all are, all three are available now. So, okay, if you want to uh, verify the uh, logs related to the CDIPC uh, domain upgrade, you can, you can check the logs over here. So if you come here, you can see, you know, under this path, you will see different logs available. So like you have Cloud Connect log, uh, Node log, ISP uh, logs, and Catalina, all these logs are available here. And uh, you know, if in case there are some issues with the CDI uh, PC domain upgrade, then you will be able to validate those using those, those log files. And uh, as you know, on the domain management app, the DMA tries to connect to the CDI PC domain using the listener, so this listener if you say this, if you go to this listener, you'll be able to see all the log files there. So if you go there, so you can see different logs uh, uh, available under this listener, like the Tomcat logs, the listener logs, you know, uh, uh, the listener launcher logs, or different, different types of logs you can see here. So yeah, this completes the uh, CDIPC domain upgrade uh, process. If you have any questions or any feedback, you can write an email or you can post it in the Twitter. Yeah, thank you.